from the newsroom at news.com.au. The federal government has enacted a private hospital agreement to help deal with the Omicron surge. It means private health staff will be called on to deal with the public health crisis. Here's Federal Health Minister Greg Hunt. Uh, The private hospitals agreement uh, will see up to 57,000 nurses and over 100,000 staff made available to Omicron affected areas around the countries. Meanwhile, the World Health Organisation chief has warned that the COVID pandemic is far from over. He said with the incredible growth of Omicron globally, new variants are likely to emerge. Overseas, it's been confirmed that three people were killed and a number were injured after that volcano eruption in Tonga on the weekend. The volcano erupted 30 kilometres into the air and resulted in a tsunami with waves as high as 15 metres. Water supplies on Tonga have been seriously affected by volcanic ash, which has also raised concerns of air pollution and potential contamination of supplies. To sport, well, Nick Kyrgios is through to the second round of the Australian Open after beating Liam Brody in straight sets last night. Now, during the match, Kyrgios and the commentators were a bit confused by a noise that the crowd kept making. What are they saying again, Todd? I think it's like it's a bit like Rue, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not a boo. Kyrgios later found out it had something to do with a famous footballer. Yeah, it's just a stupid... I can't believe they did it so much. Like, it was just... They were doing some Ronaldo thing. Like, Ronaldo yeah. does it every time he scores. Yeah. And it's just like... A, like I, I thought they were going to just do it for, like, ten minutes. They did it for two and a half hours. Yeah. Like, every point. I don't know why, but... I don't know. There's a zoo out there. Well, there you go. To showbiz, John Cena may be great with kids, but the actor and wrestler has revealed that he's in no rush to have any of his own. Have a listen to what he told Drew Barrymore on her talk show. You have to have passion for it. You have to have a fuel for it. It's like saying to somebody, man, you, you know, you're, you're pretty good with your hands. You'd be a great carpenter. Right. But if I want to be an actor, I'll be an actor. And finally, remember that Christmas movie starring Tim Allen called The Santa Claus? Well, the comedian is set to reprise his role 28 years later. Alan will star in and produce a limited series for Disney+, Plus, which will once again be called The Santa Claus. Your update from news.com.au.